Welcome to Bustanet. On today's show, we're going to do a quick role guide on the Segundo Volante. The Segundo Volante is an aggressive playmaker. He supports attacks and can also arrive late in opposition areas. If you look at the mo types of movement he makes, it certainly demands a player with an exceptional work rate and natural fitness. This, pers this player also should have a lot of determination. He's going to be covering a lot of ground and he's going to be linking defense, support and attack. One of my favorite players to play the role of a Segundo Volante would probably be Dunga when he played for Brazil. This was a player who was strong, he was great in the tackle, had fantastic positioning. Uh, he could contribute uh, offensively, he could create chances. If the team was to break down the opposition's play in their own half, he had the ability to make these long, fantastic passes with the outside of his right foot. He'd find forwards in deep positions. Now, this was one player who exhibited what I would like to see in a Segundo Volante. He also had the ability of striking the ball. Uh, he would arrive late in the opposition area and strike the ball from outside the box. Like all playmakers, you need to understand how SI want this to be played. Uh, secondly, when you use a playmaker, you really don't want too many playmakers around him. <laughs> okay, because you want him to be the focus of attention. Uh, then you got to, when we play with the, because I've done the role guide for Register, it's a similar uh, process. When you create a playmaker, you want a screen around him. You want players around him doing the winning the ball and giving it to the Segundo Volante so that he can do what he does best, which is play some interesting passes or even get into the box and score, which is something that you might see the Segundo Volante do on an attack duty. So what can we expect the Segundo Volante to do? Here we are playing with a 4-2-2-2 DM system, right? So we've got a Segundo Volante paired with another defensive midfielder. Now, when you get a chance to, uh, you should try to watch the Segundo Volante and how he move, how he tries to spread the ball wide. Here, as the play builds up, the Segundo Volante supports the play as they move through the transition. And then when he gets the opportunity and sees a pass, he goes, he tries to spread the ball wide. When using the Segundo Volante, you've got to remember this, uh, because it's an aggressive role, if it's paired with another aggressive role, what you might end up seeing is they stepping up early, uh, forcing your defenders to take care of threats that may appear in front of them in the absence of the two defensive midfielders. This can open up space for teams to play uh, through balls behind your defensive line. You also have to be careful of exposed channels that can be taken advantage of by opposing 4 2 3 ones. This is another system I like to use, the Segundo Volante, and it's basically a 4-3-3 double DM system. Um, very popular in Portugal and uh, very hard to defend against because uh, in this system, the Segundo Volante has got a very effective screen around him. It helps him recycle possession of the ball, puts him in very dangerous positions uh, to create chances for players who are going to be attacking the space. Fantastic for a counter-attacking system. Uh, the only thing that you need to remember is uh, you can play this on several lines of engagement. You can play in a low line of engagement to draw teams in. You can take advantage of the three attacking players in the box to play on a higher line of engagement. But all the time, you're going to be thinking about the roles that are supporting the Segundo Volante. They need to be able to screen play and protect uh, the uh, half when the Segundo Volante decides to bomb forward. With the aggressive press, we can actually put a lot of pressure on teams. The Segundo Volante does a very good job of getting into the box, providing another threat and creating confusion in the box for us to score. When you use playmakers in a system, you always want to check to see whether they are the focus of passes. An important piece of information you can find out through the analysis of pages their passes received and key passes they have made or any chances they may have created this is important information to ascertain the effectiveness of your playmaker naturally when you have a playmaker you want certain attributes see this player that we're using is not ideal his dribbling is a bit low he has play short simple passes and you could see in the game you know sometimes he does play those passes but occasionally he plays a long uh, raking pass into space uh, in the hands of a better player, we could have seen a lot more dynamic play. You can also use a Segundo Volante in a deep 4 2 3 one. Here we paired him with a halfback who sits very close, helps us recycle possession with the defenders. This gives the 
Segundo Volante a bit more space, makes him a bit more staggered and he's not too far away from a Tecotista who's dropped deep to support play. We're using the three rolls to give us passing options, uh, create nice little passing patterns as well that allow us to control possession, work the ball comfortably in our own half and then try to look for opportunities in the final third for our attack duties who are going to try and carve out opportunities to try and score a goal. Here our Segundo Volante was playing more of a supporting role uh, with the other players around him, our halfback and our trequatista were actually the players who were generating the most passes in the game. Gundo Valate is a very aggressive role. Now, if I choose a different kind of a player with better attributes, what I'm going to see is a player that can break through tiers aggressively he's going to go through the defense midfield is going to dribble the ball which is something that the segundo volante brings to the game it is certainly one way to put defenses on the back foot and create opportunities for other players here our segundo volante drives loses the ball we immediately apply pressure on the defense forcing them on the back foot they're forced into clearing the ball this in immediately puts us on the front foot again we now cr are able to create chances for ourselves the halfback plays the pass to the fullback the fullback comes in to score a goal how did the goal happen the segundo volante's initial run up the pitch next i'm going to show you one of my favorite partnerships the halfback and the segundo volante for that i'm going to drop the line of engagement to give them a bit more space i want you to pay attention to how the, how the halfback and the segundo volante move through the transition as they build play up now you notice uh, the halfback has pushed towards the right. Segundo Volante has taken up a central position. This allows the team to control possession in the opponent's half. Note what happens when the team loses the ball. Immediately, the halfback goes into the fullback's position. The winger comes back to win the ball. The ball is recycled and the halfback returns to his original starting position. And the team rebuilds the attack, goes down the flanks and looks for a scoring opportunity. Once again, to see the effectiveness, I'll go to the analysis screen, making sure that my Segundo Volante, Trecotista and Halfback are the players around whom all the play revolves. Another way to check is to use key pass combinations. Here I'm looking for my Segundo Volante, forming a decent partnership with the Trecotista and the Halfback. So here we are. Time now to find out what kind of a player we need. We, if I find a player like Giovanni Lo Celso, I'll start drooling because he's got all the attacking elements in the game. He's got passing, vision, decisions, flair. Right? He's got dribbling, first touch. That's fantastic. He's got composure, balance. He's not going to lose the ball. He's going to be able to handle it under pressure. He's got anticipation. He's got concentration. Wow. Then I start thinking to myself, yeah, well, he's got to come back and defend too, right? So we've got positioning and tackling and determination. So we know, we need all these attributes. So when you're looking at a uh, player like this, you want to, if I, if I had him, I start training him, improving his defensive positioning, improving his uh, tackling. But he's got, he got all the uh, mental attributes to play the game. On top of that, you've got to remember one thing. For a Segundo Volante, never ever forget natural fitness. Because the last thing you want is a one-half player. You're also looking for consistency. Right, so this player has to have some consistency. Now, versatility will be good because it shows uh, whether a player can switch from one position to another position in the game. It's a hidden attribute, so you will get it from the coach reports. So every time you try, you'll notice that they will say he's got the versatility to play in this role. He's got the versatility to play in that role. And he's got versatility. So things like consistency are going to be important because he's going to be the cog in your machine. And finally, big match. If he's a big match player, then there's nothing more glorious than finding somebody driving from defense all the way into the final third, splitting the defense with a pass and then creating a fantastic scoring opportunity. The Segundo Volante is definitely an exciting role. Well, I hope you enjoyed this role guide of the Segundo Volante. If you have any questions, please look me up on Twitter at Bustanet or addicted to fm.com, my website. Once again, I want to thank all my patrons for their continued support of this channel. You make this kind of show as possible for the rest of the community. You guys take care. Have a good one. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.